the power of video in itself. It doesn't always have to be kind of elaborate content. Um, it can just be the raw honesty and emotion. Andrew, maybe can you tell me what was your favorite campaign that you created? We're based here in the UK. Um, the company is called Origins of Motion. So around kind of 18 months ago, we did our first project with the Royal Society of Chemistry. It's not the most elaborate project we've done. It's not the most creative project we've done, but I think it's a project that really demonstrates the power of video um, and what video can do for a client. So I bring this one up because I feel like the film we created was really emotional. Because the emotion that was evoked, I think that we could be really confident to say like, this was a real success. And I think from the fact that they've backed us with probably 10 projects since then, you know, tells us that they were really happy with the outcome. So you did all the execution, uh, pre-production, production and post-production in-house, right? Yes, which is, for us is, is quite typical. So, you know, that's a, an example of a, I suppose a very small project that we've done, but that had sort of a big impact for the client. The client knew that they had a really strong story. They obviously believed in the power of video and, and what that could get done for them in terms of incorporating that through their websites and through their social media platforms. And it was just about, okay, let's execute really, really well in terms of just connecting with that person. For example, the lady that we filmed with hadn't really been on camera before. She hadn't done this before. So it was more about, okay, before we go to the shoot, let's touch base with her. Let's make sure she knows at least my voice, my name, who I am. Um, and what we're going to be doing, what she can expect. And I think that's really, really important. You know, if I'm interviewing somebody, that's something I will always try and do is just try and help them to kind of take their own path with the conversation and not kind of stick into a list of questions so that they feel like it's organic, it's natural, and they can kind of bring some emotion to it. Most important question, do you think the campaign was a failure or was it fresh? Well, I'd say it was fresh for, in terms of the outcome of the projects because of the emotion that was generated. It's so much more powerful, or it was so much more powerful to tell that story by way of video rather than trying to write that down or even do it by, by audio. I just think that video was the perfect medium for, for that story. Um, and I think also on, 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 on our side of things, I think we, you know, as I said earlier, it can, we can have real confidence in, on the impact of that video because for them, that was kind of like, right, they've executed really well here, we're gonna to continue to use them and we're gonna to continue to create these emotional stories elsewhere. And I think the resulting content really ticked the box for the client um, and they've since gone on to become our biggest client. And I think that kind of shows the strength of that content, if you like, because the emotion that was evoked, I think that we could be really confident to say like, this was a real success. And I think from the fact that they've backed us with probably 10 projects since then, you know, tells us that they were really happy with the outcome. Thank you so much for giving your insights and also your thought process of your most favorite, favorite campaign. And good to know that it was a success both for you and your client. Thanks, Jeremiah.